All right, nerds, we're back for another demo of some things I've added to the Border POS and Inventory Management System. Today I'm going to show you gift cards. I've been browsing around other POS systems and kind of cherry picking the features that I'm feeling from other uh, point of sale and inventory systems. And one thing I really wasn't quite happy with was how most people implemented gift cards. Um, we're going to do this thing called digital gift cards, and I'll show you how that works now. So here I am at the front desk using the Border POS system. I'm helping a customer right now named Shaquifa, and she wants to buy a gift card for her boyfriend. Shaquifa, what's your boyfriend's name? Shaquifa Boo. Uh, all right, let me see if uh, Shaquifa's in there or not. Shaquifa's not in there, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new account for him. Shaquifa, what's his email? Shaquifaboo at gmail.com. All right. Shaquifaboo at gmail.com. All right. So this dude's name is Shaquifaboo. I'm going to skip creating, uh, entering his address and all that for now. The minimum we, requ we require for an account is an email and for two first names. So Shaquifa's boyfriend now has an account set up uh, with the border that was created right there at the front desk. Um, now what we're going to do is I don't have my scan gun connected, so I'm going to go get the SKU for uh, digital gift cards right here, which is 218. Paste that in and, uh, and to scan the digital gift card. So Shaquifa Boo, let's say she wants to get, um, I don't know, $100 worth of uh, gift cards for her boyfriend. So here's where uh, she's buying it right there at the front desk, and let's just say she's paying with cash here. Um, I'm going to enter a note on this sale just as uh, from your girl. Um, the receipt's going to be emailed to her boyfriend, but we don't want that. We just, uh, we just want Shaquifa to get the, the receipt maybe right there in the, uh, in the store. Paying cash, we got some standard quick hit buttons right there just for, to minimize data entry. So right there we have um, Shaquifa just buying a gift gift card for her uh, for her boyfriend. So now when her boyfriend comes in, all he has to know is his email to use that gift card uh, credit. So if we type uh, Shaquifa now, we'll see that uh, Shaquifa Boo has an account in here with $100 credit. So when we go to sell to him, let's say he's going to buy a hip case. Need to I need the uh, SKU for hit case here. So I'm going to scan a hit case right now. And you can see here that um, it's 139 bucks for this hit case. Shaquifabu has $100 on his account that can be applied to this uh, at checkout. So what I'm going to do here is uh, check out with this on credit. I'm going to enter my test credit card number here. And uh, I don't want to use the, the entire gift card right now. I want to only use um, 50 bucks of it. I want, to, I want to save the rest for a future purchase. So my grand total is $139.09 with tax in this particular location. I'm applying $50 of the gift card. And uh, Shaquifa Boo's balance is 89 bucks. So when I submit payment right here, um, Shaquifa Boo's credit card gets processed. I'm going to sign right here. This is on an iPad. And uh, that's it. Shaquifa Boo's made his purchase and used $50 worth of his uh, gift card. Now I'm going to go and search for Shaquifa Boo's account again, and now you can see he's got $50 credit. If you search for another account in there that doesn't have credit, you won't get that, and it's all just kind of not showing there. So the other thing I want to show you is what happens over in Shaquifa Boo's email. Um, when Shaquifa came in and bought that, gift card for her boyfriend and gave us his email. He didn't have an account set up, so we created one for him. When we created that account for him, Shaquifa Boo over in his email right here, looking all gangster, is gets an email notice right here saying um, his account at the border is ready. Now, this is going to be all um, you know dressed up and made to look fancy where it'll give you information like here's how much credit you have, Here's what you need to do to finish setting up your account if you want to use it online with you know a password and filling in your address and all that. So this is this will be 100% integrated with online um, 
buying too. So if Shaquif Abu didn't even live in Tampa, or you know he he could log into his account on theborder.com and see that he has $100 in credit there available to apply to anything he wants to purchase online, where our full inventory in the shop, of course, will also be online live there too. Um, so that's how new customers will get notified whenever um, an account is created for them on behalf, an account is created on their behalf for someone else, for instance, when purchasing a gift card. So all Shaquivabu needs to know to use that gift card is his email address doesn't need to carry a card, he doesn't need to remember a number or enter a big long string of numbers when he checks out. There's a very little friction there. So here, um, this is Shaquif Abu's receipt for um, the hit case he just purchased in, in the shop. So you can see here where he bought it at the Border East, it was $129 with $9 in tax. $50 of his gift card was applied and uh, there's his total. That's it. And then you get the same stuff I showed you last week with uh, his order survey and all that. And then you get a, my little bit of information here since I was logged in as me on uh, just introducing and uh, giving you a little bit about the staff who helps you at the border. That's it for this week.